Howdy everyone, today is February 6th. There's really not much going on in the chicken coop today. We've got plenty of snow still on the ground from last week. Uh, it's above freezing right now, which is nice, but it's melting everything. So this coop's kind of getting a little bit soggy and kind of start smelling the chickens a little bit. So I'm gonna bed the whole thing down real quick and then uh, give them some food and water and they'll be fine for today. Today is February 8th. It's almost 50 degrees out today, so the snow is really starting to melt. Beautiful day, nice and sunny, gotta love it. Uh, today I thought I'd talk a little bit about the construction of the chicken coop. So there's a ton of different ways that you can make a chicken coop. You can simply go buy a chicken coop for a couple hundred dollars. You can put three or four chickens in it, or you can build something like this, or you can build something even bigger. So what this coop is, it's a 10 by 12. Um, it's mostly made of two befores. Um, the pieces of wood holding the plastic together there those were ripped two befores. That's mostly just to hold the plastic on a little bit better. So this is a nice size coop. You could have way more chickens in here than I have at the moment. So anyway, that's the chicken coop. Um, we put up the front side, back side first, and then we worked on the edges. And then as far as the front, we built the door um, just on its own, put it on there. You wanna make sure it's nice and square. On the bottom, I have uh, two by sixes, um, so that's kind of the structure. You square that up and you start building everything else up on top of it. So once you go inside the coop, you can see a little bit more of the bracing. So for the sides, um, you got a bunch of two by four, by eights, by twelves, by every dimension you can think of there. Um, and then for the roof, we just have a bunch of, you know, two before all it together. So you could have put um, some sort of support beam in the front, but it doesn't really need to do that because it's not hanging anything heavy on here. So there's really no point. So for the screen, on the lower side, we used the smaller squares so that way a raccoon or any sort of critter couldn't come in and grab a chicken by its leg or wing or neck or what have you and rip them out. This was actually kind of hard to find. It's a little more expensive. Um, I actually had to order this on Amazon because I couldn't find it at Lowe's or Home Depot or anywhere which was kind of weird but not that unusual for the times we live in. You can't find anything you need. So up here I was able to get just regular chicken wire. And that's fine for up top um because a raccoon obviously can't climb up there reach in and grab a chicken so they're safe up there but down below i definitely wanted the smaller squares to make sure the chickens didn't get eaten up <clears throat> i didn't use screws used a nail gun instead to hold everything together um so you can kind of see a little bit of that in action here just kind of pulled these pieces together so I did that just because it was a lot faster to build versus putting screws in. If I had put screws, it would have been easier to take all the screws out and rebuild it for my purposes and anything I wanted it to be. But honestly, when I'm done with this, um, I'm just going to take a sawzall, cut the nails down, and pull the lumber out and turn it into whatever I need to. So either way, it doesn't really matter whether it's nails or screws. I chose nails. Um, so yeah, as far as the inside of it, I used the bales for when the chicks were first out here. So they were out here oh, when they are about a month old. So I had these kind of boxed in and a heat lamp in the middle so the chickens or chicks could run in and stay a little warmer in there. And then now that they've grown up, I turned it into a hillbilly roost. So I just kind of repurposed the straw bales because I didn't want to set them outside and get them all gross even though the chickens are doing a good job of that themselves. Uh, so one of these days I will actually make a normal roost, but it's winter time, they like hanging out on it. As long as you keep it clean, there's no issues. Um, 
So other than that, I still have to build the nesting boxes. So I'll be getting on that here soon. But other than that, that's the basics of the chicken coop. Um, as far as cost, uh, it's, I think this thing cost me three or 400 to build. That's uh, with the plastic, the wood, the wire, the nails, uh, staples, all that stuff. So not much to it, <clears throat> really simple. So I'd much prefer a bigger coop that I can walk into and actually work in versus buying something smaller. Uh, it's a little lighter weight, not built as well. So overall, I'm really happy with this. I got some extra pieces just laying over there that I've kind of been using to prop up some of their food or water bowls if they happen to be on the ground because I haven't hung them up yet. But those will probably be repurposed into stands and then I'll make the nesting box out of those. Um, so yeah, on the door here, I did use some screws, but not much. So on the door, I put a couple in there to hold this really flimsy little stuff together. It was basically just to keep that door square um, and give it a little bit more strength by putting those in. I did that on the top and the bottom. And I went ahead and made the whole door out of that small square wire, just because it really didn't matter one way or the other, but that's what I did. As far as the lock here it's just your standard you know locking by at home depot or wherever and once it comes in it locks i've uh it latches so if you didn't have a way to get out you'd get stuck in the chicken coop so all you do is you can move that back and forth from inside the coop and you're safe i need to replace this wire though it's kind of bending on me so <clears throat> it's always good to have that in there i've built chicken coops before and um, some people got stuck because they didn't know I built that little handy piece in. So that's helpful. Um, as far as the outside, the only other thing that I didn't mention was uh, right there. So these are just metal piece here. I uh, drove it down several feet into the ground and then just took screws ran it through and then got it in the wood so did that all around the base just a couple on each side so there's another one and I can't see it with the wood so much in there but did all that that kind of held the coop down for wind in case it got really crazy just because the plastic on here uh, might want to take off so I wanted to make sure the coop wouldn't fly away it's really not heavy but just in case I didn't want it, you know, turning into like a Wizard of Oz thing. So that's how I built the chicken coop. Uh, really cost effective, really easy to build. It only took, honestly, I could have whipped it out in a day or two, but my dad and I just kind of spread the project out. There wasn't a huge rush on getting it done. So um, we started it in October. And we didn't really finish it until November sometime. Basically, whenever I had to get the chicks out, that's when we finished it up so yeah as far as the electricity uh, you guys see that in almost every video how I run all the extension cords in here the chickens don't really need that um, second lamp anymore they really don't even need the first lamp so those can go uh, I usually use baling twine but my dad had a bunch of just wire laying around so I went ahead and used that so it's a little sturdier it doesn't bend or fray like the bailing twine does over time. So that's been nice. Uh, just use some clips on the feeders down here. So I need to get another one because I forgot to put one on this bucket right here. So um, I don't think there's really anything else as far as building goes, but it was a fun little project. So I'm sure I'll be building a lot more things in the future. Uh, built um, a barn with my dad. That was a lot of fun. That was a project though. That one took a couple months to get that done. We built that last summer. Built some chicken coops. Built some feeders for cattle. Um, hay feeders. So, done a lot of little building projects. Bookshelves. So chicken coop was just another simple easy one. So, yeah. Really helped having my dad though because he's the master craftsman. Uh, so, um, learned a lot, always learn a lot building 
things every time we get into something together, so it was a lot of fun to build. Yeah. Then when I'm done with the inside of the chicken coop, I have this little clip and you just run it through that hole there. You can actually lock your chicken coop, that way um, it won't open, but I'm not really worried about people stealing my chickens. Mostly just in case a raccoon happened to climb up here, jimmy this latch open and then got in the chicken coop. So that's just one safeguard that I have there for that, so. Alright, bye chickens! And the chickens are basically on full feed. You can still see a little bit of their chick feed hanging out in there. Those smaller pieces. Um, I already went through one 50 pound bag of the new food. So they're gonna be completely switched over with this next bag. So they prefer the adult food, which is great. So they went through that really fast. Uh, animals tend to eat more when it's cold out. So they definitely proved that, but they're also getting bigger. So they're just naturally eating more because they got more body to support. So next time I go, probably next week, grab four or five bags. So that will last a little bit longer. Big Bird had to hop up and say hey because I was not Howdy everyone, today is February 10th, 2022. It's currently 35 degrees out, we've still got plenty of snow on the ground. But it is melting just a little bit so everything's kind of soggy out there. The chickens have, I'm calling it, officially finished their first bag. There's not much left in there. So I'm gonna bring out that second bag of their adult food that I bought the other week or so. And uh, so at this time they've gone through four bags of chick feed and one bag of adult food. So that roughly is about $10 of food in each bird. So not too shabby. They're currently 12 weeks old, 12 weeks and two days. So if I've got roosters, we should start hearing some crowing, hopefully anytime. Big Bird, I'm thinking, is a toss-up, may or may not be a rooster. She could just be a masculine looking hen, but we'll see. She's a little smaller than the other one that I'm thinking is the rooster, uh, who's up on the bale over there next to that gray one. Um, I'm thinking that one's a rooster. We'll see. It looks like it's got some spurs starting. So... Just by the size too, the facial looks, everything. I'm thinking that's for sure a rooster. Big Bird's just big and she's got some, you know, more red going on her face. Comb, waddle and all that. She's a little bigger than the rest. Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of waiting for him to start growing, so we'll see. But hopefully that'll start happening this week. And if not, I'm gonna have to go buy me a rooster. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring around that bag of feed, uh, dump it in and then get these girls set up. what I did guys I forgot a knife again but luckily these bags have a little pull tab on them so much easier so if you forget a knife you can still get into your chicken food
Howdy y'all, today is February 12th and it's about 25 degrees out and we're getting a little bit of snow this morning so it's really pretty. It's uh, just a dusting though so it's not doing much. Um, I have some big news. I uh, ordered my honeybees today so got a three pound package coming. Uh, it's about 10,000 bees so I'll be getting here sometime beginning of April so I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, the other thing, I uh, picked out a name for the green band chicken and I'm going with omelet. There are a lot of good names. Snowbird was a really close second just because you know it's snowing out and that kind of fits too but I like omelet because she's gonna be laying me a lot of eggs. I'm gonna be making a lot of omelets so I think omelet is a pretty fitting chicken name for her so we'll name some more chickens in the future so keep thinking up some good names and uh, I'll let you know when we start naming some more. Thank you. 